guys, welcome back to my channel. We are doing a tie-dye series. So today I'm gonna do tie-dye face masks. All right, you guys, so here are the dyes that I use. I use the RIT and then I use this huge pack which has like rainbow colors. I really like these bottles because they are really, really big and you just add water to them and then you have your color. Today I'm gonna be doing two different type of tie-dye patterns. So for one of them, I'm gonna be using the RIT dye and I just add one cup of water to one tablespoon of the dye. So I'm using the super pink one and then I'm using the teal one. So for this one, I'm gonna do the crumple pattern. For the second face mask, I'm gonna do the spiral pattern. The dyes I'm gonna use, yellow, orange, red, green, and blue. Hopefully I can use them all. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna dump these in water. Just make sure they are nice and moist. Go ahead and wring them out. So for the first one, we are gonna do the crumple effect. So what I'm gonna do, since the fabric is so small, it's not like a shirt, I'm gonna go in sections. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start with the top row and then do the bottom row. And then of course, I'm gonna get the straps as well. So for this one, I normally don't use a rubber band for the crumble pattern, but this one I am going to because it's gonna lose its shape. So just put a rubber band around it, just like that. I use a storage bin, just like so, and I recently got this rack, which moves back and forth. Now you don't wanna submerge this on the bottom of the storage because all of the colors are gonna mix together and it's, it's just not gonna look good. So make sure to use like a rack of some sort or maybe do it outside on the grass. All right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and add just little dollops in the middle. All right, and let's do the blue. Now the blue and the pink are gonna mix together and some of the areas are gonna be purple. Make sure to flip this over and then add some more dye. Whoa, that was a big one. I wonder what this is gonna turn into. So this is what it looks like. I'm gonna put it on the rack right here. So you don't want this to dry. You want it to be nice and moist and I'm gonna leave this to set overnight. So mask number two. For this one, I'm gonna be doing the spiral pattern. So like before, pinch it in the middle and it's so tiny, so make sure it goes around in a circle. So, and make sure to just wrap the strap around too. So this is what it looks like. It is a nice little spiral in the center, so we're gonna do four colors. All right, the colors I'm using are gonna be yellow. And we're gonna do red. And make sure to flip it around. Now it's great to surround yellow with blue and red because then it turns all of these little areas green and orange. All right, and then we're gonna do yellow again. All right, I am all done with this one. I'm gonna leave both of these to soak overnight. That way all of the colors will soak into the fabric. All right, you guys, these face masks sat overnight, I would say 12 hours. So now we're gonna go ahead and see what they look like. I think I'm gonna really like this one. Look at the twirly one, this one looks awesome and then this was the crumbly one this one actually looks pretty cool too so this one's kind of like pastel and this one's like a vibrant color all right you guys so i'm gonna go ahead and run these under cold water until no more color comes out and then i'm gonna put them in the dryer all right you guys i scrubbed these in cold water 
So no dye comes out and that's exactly what you want. You don't want any dye still in the mask. You could always throw this in the washing machine, cold water, no detergent, and that should be fine too. But doing with my hands, it's a lot faster. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw these in the dryer. All right, you guys, these are what the masks turned out. I really like both of them. This one's very vibrant. This one's pastel. Let's go ahead and try them on. And you guys will be the judge. Okay, so this is the first one. What do you guys think? I like the spiral and I love how the colors turned out. So this is the pastel one. This was the crumple pattern. I like the pastel one too. All right, you guys, thank you so much for watching this tutorial on how to tie dye face masks. I think these are really cute and they really turned out. You guys, don't forget to take a look at some of my other tie dye videos in this series. I'll have them all below along with the supplies I used. And until next time, bye.